Sup, YouTubers? It's Trainman122. Um, I wanted to show off some uh, wooden train items that I bought off of a few websites. But first, um, I've gotten a request some from people I know from at school. Um, their names are Bethany and Allie. And they wanted to see me in one of my videos, so I'm going to do that for them. So, I'm Trainman122, and I really like to collect trains and funny t-shirts, so really, that's it. Alright, I'm going to start this off by showing my layout. It's very big. Not as big as my biggest one, but it's a nice size considering the small amount of space I had. I got a lot of products from train... Uh, woodentrains.com Slash, it, it, it was more like Whittlers.com, but their site name is Trains.com. Woodentrains.com. And I also got it from Choo Choo Tracks.com. They also sell Whittler train products, but they're a little cheaper. If you have, uh, if you have a cart, a uh, shopping cart full of items that are over $69, you get free shipping. And let's just say I have not had a single time had to pay for shipping. It's a very good site. Okay, time for some close-ups. All right, right here, I bought that roundhouse and that turntable. As you can see, it's removable. I bought that from ChooChooTracks.com. I needed to buy it because these trains are very long. Even just a single engine. So I keep about six in there. And it has five outgoing tracks. And so now, time for some close-ups of my trains. Right here, we got my Santa Fe Super Chief. Very beautiful. I bought all three of these from Kmart. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find them there again. But, you never know. Um... Let's see. Here. I believe this is called the Blue Bonnet. Santa Fe. It's very nice. And then over here. I got my War Bonnet. Santa Fe. My buddy Train Track Trav would love that. It's very beautiful. And then right here. I got my Conrail. I'm sure I have a few friends on my site that would love Conrail. I got at least two I know of. And, oops. Hey, derailments happen. I got my Conrail short line box car. My Rio Grande short line box car. My New York City Lines railroad box car. The Santa Fe box car. The GATX, the Santa Fe green cart, and of course the Conrail caboose, which is being obstructed by this. There we are. Conrail. Okay. Then, inside the shed, I got many things. I gotta move him. I have. Let's see. The very beautiful Southern Pacific locomotive. Red and black. Nice. Then I have the Norfolk Southern. You can see the horse. It's also very nice. Um, I'm sorry if I'm speeding things up. I found out I can only have a 10 minute long video for YouTube. So, I'm uh, currently in five minutes. 
And then this is the Southern, or sorry, Union Pacific American flag. I know you can't read what it says. It says Building America. It's got the Union Pacific shield. It's very nice. All the locomotives come with these little crevices. You can probably see it. The red line for the catwalk. They got these crevices so that the magnet can keep with whatever it's carrying when going up steep grades and everything. And then I have here the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Sorry, it's just Burlington Northern. I'm looking for the BNSF. It's currently out of stock. I'm also looking for the Rio Grande. It was very nice. Um, the Canadian National. It also has the website address. CA, sorry, www.cn.ca. Now, moving on to my Amtrak. Right here, we got the Genesis Phase 3 paint scheme. Doesn't have a front coupler. I found that kind of weird. But these kind of locomotives have different little grooves for the magnets. This right here, my most prized possession. The F40PH Amtrak. It's very beautiful has a front coupler and as you can see they can hit some very steep grades with that kind of angle then let's see baggage car the coach car the observation car which you can probably see some small thin windows right above the main windows here here's a little comparison and then the last one's also the same as that one sorry now, over here is my longest train ever. That there is my CSX. They all, all the freight locomotives usually look the same. They look like SD40-2s or GP38s. And, you know, there's like tons. They all look the same to me. I'm sure I'm going to be corrected at some point in time. But, uh, sorry, I have to move my parking garage thing to show you my second engine. This here, chassis system. Doesn't have a front logo or back, but still very nice. And then I have my, my Santa Fe high cube car slash box car kind of thing. I don't know exactly what to call it. Got my Union Pacific High Cube, my CSX Auto Rack, Burlington Northern Auto Rack, Union Pacific Auto Rack. Uh, I got a lumber car with removable lumber. I put that magnet in so I could remove it. Um, that's not. Sorry, here, let me get you one of those. Knocked over my bridge. It's not a Canadian train company. It's just Canada. Green car. And that's the Union Pacific green car. I recently found out my, my buddy Train Track Trav. He has a thing for airplanes. So I'm going to get a small close-up of them. Very nice. Now i got to hurry up. There's this one. As you can see, it's you're going to see another one that looks kind of like it. But this one's got a little bit of a tip on the wing. And then this one. Alright. As usual, at the end of all my at the end of all my videos, I give shoutouts. So first, let me know if anyone wants any videos of any of these things featured in here and I will get a video for you or I will explain it to you all right here are my shout outs Conrail forever crazy for Conrail 17 
Ohio Southern. All aboard, 321. Mar Marloxia, 143, who also has a website. Train Track Trev, my dude that's been there for me for YouTube stuff and train stuff. And, of course, Trainiac Productions, brand new for me. He's doing a new CSX line. And I'm sure he's got a lot of good footage. So, once again, anyone who wants to see any of these products in action or wants to know more about them, let me know. Alright, see ya.